In the ancient times, when the world was young, ten suns hung in the sky, scorching the earth and withering all life. Rivers ran dry, crops failed, and the people despaired. Among them was a mighty archer named Ho Yi, a hero renowned for his unparalleled strength and unmatched skill with the bow. Determined to save the world from destruction, Hu Yi climbed to the top of Kunlun Mountain, drew his divine bow, and shot down nine of the ten suns, restoring balance to the world. Grateful, the people hailed Ho Yi as their savior. The Jade Emperor, ruler of the heavens, was so impressed by Ho Yi's deeds that he bestowed upon him a rare elixir of immortality, a potion so powerful that a single drop would grant the drinker eternal life and ascension to the heavens. However, Hao Yi, deeply in love with his wife, Chang He, had no desire to live without her by his side. Instead of drinking the elixir, he entrusted it to Chang He for safekeeping, telling her, We shall use this only when we have lived our lives together and are ready to ascend to the heavens hand in hand. Chang carefully hid the elixir guarding it with her life. But Hu Yi's apprentice, a cunning and envious man named Feng Ming, discovered its existence. Consumed by greed, he plotted to steal the elixir and one day, while Ho Yi was away hunting, Feng Ming stormed into their home, threatening Chang E and demanding she surrender the potion. In a moment of desperation, Chang E made a fateful decision to protect the elixir from falling into the wrong hands. She swallowed it herself. The potion's power surged through her, and before she could even comprehend what was happening, she found herself floating, weightless, as her body ascended towards the heavens. Higher and higher she flew, until she reached the moon, where she was destined to reside alone. The moon is cold and lonely, with silence all around. A giant laurel tree and a white rabbit keep company, while an old man pounds medicine day after day under the tree. Chang Yi feels an endless sense of loneliness and longing, yet this was not the end of her story. As time passed, Chang Yi discovered that the moon, though barren, held ancient secrets. Beneath the laurel tree was a tranquil lake, whose waters, she learned, were a portal connecting the lunar realm with the mortal world. Every full moon, the lake would ripple, revealing glimpses of the earth below. Yet, this was not the end of her story. As time passed, Chang Yi discovered that the moon, though barren, held ancient secrets. Beneath the laurel tree was a tranquil lake, whose waters, she learned, were a portal connecting the lunar realm with the mortal world. Every full moon, the lake would ripple, revealing glimpses of the earth below. One day, as she walked beneath the laurel tree, Chang Yi came across a wounded phoenix, its once glorious wings tattered and broken. The phoenix, a guardian of the celestial paths between heaven and earth, had been injured in a great battle and had fallen to the moon, unable to return to its former home. Moved by compassion, Chang Yi took the phoenix under her care, nursing it back to health and hoping that one day it might regain the strength to soar once more. As the phoenix healed, its wings remained too damaged to carry it through the skies. Chang Yi realized that only the leaves of the laurel tree, imbued with the moon's essence, could restore the phoenix's ability to fly. With unwavering resolve, she began to gather the leaves, weaving them into a new pair of wings for her celestial companion. But the laurel tree was no ordinary tree. Its roots were intertwined with the very essence of the moon. Each leaf Chang Yi plucked, sent a sharp pain through her, as if she were plucking pieces of her own heart. Yet she pressed on, day after day, enduring the agony for the sake of the phoenix. At last, the wings were complete. The phoenix, now adorned with shimmering, silver-tinged feathers, was ready to take flight. Grateful, it turned to Chang Yi and said, You have not only saved me, but shown me the depth of your love and sacrifice for Hao Yi and the mortal world. As a token of my gratitude, I offer to carry you back to the earth, to reunite with your beloved. Chang Yi's heart swelled with longing. She yearned to return to Hu Yi, but she also knew that the laurel tree had begun to wither from her actions. If she left, the moon palace, this solitary and sacred place, would fade into nothingness. At that moment, the lake beneath the laurel tree shimmered brightly, 
revealing a vision of the Mid-Autumn Festival on Earth. People were gathered, lighting lanterns, sharing milkcakes, celebrating the full moon in a display of love and togetherness that lit up the night like stars. Changi felt a warmth spread through her, a sense of peace. She turned to the phoenix with a gentle smile and said, Thank you, but I cannot leave this place. I will remain here, guarding the moon, for it is now the bridge that connects me to Haoyi and all those who look up at the night sky. The phoenix nodded, understanding the depth of her choice. With a graceful bow, it spread its wings and ascended into the heavens, leaving behind a trail of radiant light. From that night on, whenever the mid-autumn festival arrived, the moon would shine brighter than ever, and those who looked closely might see Changi's silhouette beneath the laurel tree, gazing down upon the earth, her heart filled with love and tranquility. Changi's tale spread across the lands, a legend of enduring love and sacrifice. It reminded people that no matter how far apart they might be, true love and heartfelt connections could bridge even the greatest of distances. And so, every year during the Mid-Autumn Festival, as families gather to gaze at the full moon and share mooncakes, they are reminded of Chang'ai's gentle presence, blessing them from afar with her eternal light.